My boyfriend, 33, quit his job last year without telling me. I only found out two days before the rent was due. We split everything 50 slash 50 when I asked him for his part of the rent. When I asked, he simply told me he quit because he was tired of working at that place. Since then, I've been paying for everything, including rent, food, gas bills, and anything he needs. I had to work two jobs while going to school for a while. It was hard. But I finally finished school a couple months ago, and I found my dream job. I make enough to live comfortably, even take care of my BF, and still have money for saving. However, I still want him to get a job to support himself, because I think as an adult, he needs a job. But I feel like he rely on me too much, and he thinks since my job pays well, he doesn't have any reason to work. He always say things like, you make good money now so maybe you could buy me my dream car. Or, you should open a business for me to run. It bothers me a lot. I don't mind supporting my partner financially if there's a legit reason that prevent him from working, but it's not the case. He spends most of his time playing games, meeting up with friends, or just at home watching movies. I still have to do all the chores and take care of our dogs. His family thinks that he's been woking to take care of me so that I can finish school, which is not true. Now they think I was able to finish school and got a good job all because of him. I don't even want to explain to them. I just want him to get a job and have a future. When I tried to talk to him, he told me I'm not supportive and now that I have a good job, I look down on him. What should I do? Is it even worth it to try to talk some sense into him? I don't want to start dating at this age, but I feel like I can't keep doing this. Edit 2, Next Day Wow, I didn't expect this many comments. I can't reply to everyone, but I did read all the comments, and I really appreciate it. Many people have asked why him. Why I stay for years. What did I see in him? So I just want to answer it here. We started off pretty normal. We split everything 50 slash 50, and I had no problem with that. But throughout the years, he started showing his true self. I was in school and school was the most important thing to me at that point, so I invested all my time and energy into it. I was in a PhD program, so I had stipend around 30 slasher, which was enough for myself but not for two people. After he quit his job, I was very stressed out but I had to focus on school and try to do everything I could to survive. I didn't have time to really think about my personal life, and I also didn't want to go through any changes in life, so I just let it be. In addition, he guilt trips me a lot, so I feel bad for him. But now that I have a stable job, I have time to really think about my future. I don't see myself being with him long term. I don't think it would be as easy as, hey, let's break up, because I know he wouldn't let it go that easy. But I'll start planning to get out, maybe ask some friends for support. His name is not on the lease, so I'll stay where I am and he'll have to move. Update 2. It's been two months since I posted about my situation on this sub, and I just want to give you an update of how things went after I made that post. Before I go into the details, I just want to say I really appreciate everyone here. After I resolved everything, I occasionally would go back to my original post and read the comments to remind myself that I've done the right thing. After posting on here, I went home from work that day and asked my friends to come over but stay in the parking lot while I sort things out with my now XBF. Before I could even start the conversation he told me his friend got a new car recently and how I should get him a car since I can afford it. I got really upset and told him he could have got himself a car if he was working. I told him how stressful it has been for me with him not working and fully relying on me. He started the, my life is already miserable and you're not being supportive talk. I was sick of it. So I said I wanted to end things here and he needs to move out ASAP. As expected, he got upset and threw a tantrum. He was yelling, throwing stuff around, and when he realized I was being dead serious, he started threatening to hit and kill my dogs. I jumped in between him and the dogs to stop him from harming them. Then he pushed me and grabbed me by my neck. I was able to get him off of me, put the dogs into a room, and called my friends to tell them come in and call the police. 
He was trying to hit me but my friends got there in time. I think he got scared when he saw my friends showed up, so he backed down but still verbally telling them to get out of the way or he would hit them too. The police came. They took him away and told me he wouldn't be able to come into the apartment anymore. He had to move but would need to be escorted by the police if he wants to grab his stuff later. It was a horrible experience, but it showed me that I've done the right thing. I thought that was the end of everything. But his auntie called me when she found out and tried to gaslight me saying that he didn't do anything wrong, and I was just upset so I called the police. I told myself that I no longer have to deal with these bullshit, so I told her to leave me alone and hung up. His family would continue to harass me, but stopped when I threatened to report to the police. I continue to pay the rent and bills like how I've always been doing. The only thing that have changed is I'm now so much happier. I'm the happiest I've ever been in years. I just got a promotion last week. I've been spending time enjoying life with the extra money I have since I no longer having to pay for his expenses. As for my ex, he's moved in with his aunt. I got a protection order, so we are not in contact at all. Update 3, it's been a year since I called the police on my ex-BF after he hurt me and threatened to hurt my dogs. I hope the same thing doesn't happen to anyone, but if you're currently in a similar relationship, I hope this post will help you realize good things will come after to stand up for yourself. After my ex was taken by the police, I dealt with some harassment from his family but they eventually left me alone. I moved closer to my job and basically a different city that's 30 minutes away from my old apartment. I took some time to heal and went on vacations by myself, it was great. I finally looked forward to coming home and spend time with my dogs. One of them passed away from cancer a couple months ago. About six months after the incident, I met someone. He's a great person and for the first time in a long time, someone treats me with love and respect. I'm very happy at the moment. I've learned to set boundaries and expectations early on to avoid being in the same situation again. Now to my ex's case. Yesterday I got a call from the prosecutor office. To be honest, I totally forgot about the case and I thought there's nothing else to follow up on. But they called to inform me that they'll be pressing charges and asked if I would be okay to testify. I said yes. It'll be hard for me to go to court and talk about the incident if he's right there, because even though I've completely moved on with my life, I can still feel the fear when I heard about the case. I'm somewhat still traumatized by the whole thing. But I think he needs to be responsible for his actions, especially after his auntie tried to defend his actions by blaming me. It really sucks that I have to go through all of that to end a toxic and abusive relationship but I got out somewhat safely and I can't imagine what my life would be if I stayed. It was a hard time, but it's worth it. Things are definitely better, and I'm surrounded by people who truly love me and appreciate me. Simple and little things in life truly make me happy. Like how my BF got me bubble tea and prepared dinner for me when I had a hard day at work last week. I can't believe just more than a year ago, I thought a day without an argument was already a good day. Come right in 90. Good for you leaving that toxic situation. The exact thing happened to me last year as well. I was in a relationship with a toxic ex and I finally stood up for myself and ended the relationship. We had to love together until we figured out the living situation since unfortunately both our names were on the lease. The way I got out was by calling the police after he swung a sound bar at me. I'm still traumatized about it to this day. I'm in therapy for the things he did and said to me. He plead guilty which I'm so glad that this nightmarish chapter can finally be over. OOP I'm glad you were able to get out before things got worse. It's a very traumatizing experience but therapy does help. I hope you have a good support system and are around people who cares about you and understand your experience. Jaded 1121 you may want to reach out to the victim advocate and see if the prosecutor's office or anyone else affiliated with the court has an emotional support dog that you can have with you when you testify. 
I was pleasantly surprised that a small county near me had that for a person I work with when she had to testify against a family member. It helped her feel more calm and protected going into testifying.